Here we have a 2017 17 plate Mercedes Benz Jolie 350D AMG Line Formatic Premium. Now it does come with four 21 inch alloy wheels in silver and black. Now we do also have the LED headlights as well as the black Pan America style front grille with the matching black front badge. Now we do also have the black front splitter as you can see just there. Now I do have a panoramic roof which is just on tilt at the moment as it is spitting just to save any water droplets just getting in the car. Then we do also have the black roof bars as well as the black tack styling so we do have the black wing mirrors, black window trim and also privacy glass on the rear. Then we also have side steps on either side, power assisted rear tailgate. Now we do also have front and rear parking sensors with 360 degree cameras so you do have one that pops out just above the rear number plate, two underneath the wing mirrors and one in the front grille. Now we do also have dual exit exhaust flush with the rear bumper and also the rear diffuser. As you can see, we do have the GLE 350D and a formatic badge just on the rear. Now, this vehicle is free from any major marks, dents, or scratches, and rear does look superb from every angle. Now, if we go to the rear, I'll show you a bit of the interior. Now, as you can see, we do have full leather throughout with isofix points, pull down leather armrest. We also have vents in the centre as well as storage, and also storage nets behind the driver and passenger seat. Now, I'll go into the front. There's a look at the driver's full leather front seat, which is extremely comfortable. And there's also heated electric and memory. Now the heated function is just in the centre console just there, but we'll get to that in a second. Now do have your electric windows with your electric power forward and mirrors just there as well. Jumping inside the car, just down there you have your auto light, lights with electric parking brake and also keyless start. So jumping in fully, foot on the brake and push the button and then the vehicle will then start. Now as you can see we do have a multifunction steering wheel. The cruise control and speed limiter just down there with your electric steering wheel adjustments. Power shift if we stick the car into manual mode. Now this vehicle has done. Just scrolling through the menus. Just over 69,500 miles and it's free from any warning lights on the dashboard. Now coming to the centre we do have your satellite navigation screen. We also have media connectivity where we do have Bluetooth audio. Click again, scroll across, we do have media interface 1 and 2. Now that is your USB port. We have DAB radio. Telephone connectivity via Bluetooth and we also have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as you can see just there. Let's scroll across, you all have those other settings just there as well. Now we do have different drive modes. We have off-road, slippery, comfort, sport and also individual. Now we do have the airmatic suspension on this vehicle. So you can change the suspension settings where you can have sport and comfort and also raise the suspension by pressing this button just there. And as you can see on the screen in front of me, it just says rising. Now coming back off of that, we do have the 360 degree camera, so pop it into reverse. You can see the top down view on the left hand side, and on the right hand side you have your rear view. Now if I go across, you can change all the different views. So whatever suits your preference, or whatever situation you're getting into, whether it's parallel parking or parking through a tight space, this car has you covered. Now coming down here, you have all these buttons just here, so you have your stop start on and off parking sensors on and off so as your traction control now you do have the two heated front seats just there as you can see they work exactly how you would expect them to as you can see just there looking down here we have your dual zone climate control which again works exactly how you would expect it to storage just down here with storage underneath here with two nice size cup holders this is what you use to control everything happens on your screen and there's your driver mode select just there Race suspension, DSR for your downhill ascent assist, pop the car into manual mode so you use the paddle shift. We also have this button, so we press it and it will go onto this screen. Now it tells you how hard, what percentage of the brakes and accelerator you're using. So if I just give it a little rev, you see just up there, I'm giving it 30% revs. Press the brake, it goes up to 100%. Now because I'm stopped, it has 36% brake just to keep me static. Now coming back off that. We do have storage just underneath here, as well as the soft touch lever armrest. And there's a look at the passenger seat just there. Now I'll show you the process of the roof just opening, just quickly, just to show that it works exactly how you would expect it to. As you can see, the pan roof is open there. Then close again by pressing that button to open it. You pull back, push it away from you to close it, then it'll go down like that. And to close the blinds, simply press the button again, and then the blinds will then close. 
Nars vehicle is available to take away to date with free contactless nationwide next day delivery. It's HBI Claire, comes a fresh service, new MOT, and we do it for competitive low finance. Thank you very much for watching. Bit of test drive of this Mercedes Benz GLE 350D formatic AMG line premium. Now, the purpose of this video test drive, of course, is to show that the vehicle drives exactly how you would expect it to. Now, as you can see, I'm not as far as we're still to keep it straight line. It's going straight and true and not veering off to the left or to the right hand side. Now, I do have power shift be just behind the multi function steering wheel if you wish to take the car into minor mode, as well as cruise control and speed limiter on the left hand side on the stalk. Now, as far as the cruise control, simply just push down. I go to the nearest miles an hour to go up by one, push up very slightly. Then, if you want to go to the nearest five miles an hour, push up until you feel a bit of a click, and that'll just to the nearest five miles an hour. Now, to cancel, simply just press the brake or push away from you on the stalk, and then it'll then cancel. Now, as I'm slowing down for the ride mat, I need to take over the paddle shift, so currently in fifth, down to fourth, into third, coming to a halt, so down to second, then about to stop, so in first. Now, at the roundabout, I'm going to take a left as you would if you test drive this vehicle today. So, from first to second, to third, to fourth, up to fifth, and then select the car, take back over, simply just let go, or on your stalk where you choose when you drive neutral or reverse, just push down, and then it'll go back into normal drive. Now, we do have very comfortable full leather seats throughout in this vehicle, which you can quite easily do two, three, even four miles and still get out feeling fresh. Now, the two front seats are also heated, so for those cold winter mornings, it really does make all the difference. Now, thanks to the aromatic suspension on this vehicle, the drive is very, very smooth. Now, you do have the raise function, so if you do find yourself going over a rough terrain or off-roading, as you do have an off-road mode, you can raise the suspension so you do have that little bit more ground clearance. Now, the two front seats are also heated electric in memory, so you have a wider range of choices where you can choose what position to have your seat in. You've got the headrest up and down as well as lean back, go forwards and back, lift the base up and down. You do have a lot of different options. Now in the center, we do have your satellite navigation screen. We do also have Bluetooth media, Bluetooth audio connectivity, DAB radio, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Another little special feature to this vehicle is when you pop it into reverse, you do have the 360 degree cameras that pop up in the center screen. Now we do also have front and rear parking sensors there as well. Now you have your cameras underneath your wing mirrors, so when you're parallel parking or parking next to a curb, you do have the view there way, so you don't curb any wheels. Or if you're reversing into a tight space, again you have the 360 degree cameras just to help you and have that peace of mind that you're not going to hit anything. Now here at Ars Car Sales, we're our 5 star dealership, with over 305 star views on Google, Auto, Trader and Cargoes. Now if you read through the reviews, our customers really do reiterate the fact of how good we are to buy for and how caring of the company we actually are. Now we do have Facebook, Instagram and YouTube as well as TikTok, so feel free to follow us on either platform just to stay up to date with everything RS car sales, so whether it's getting a new stock in or if we upload another video or a new car comes in. Now if you follow us on Instagram and YouTube, we do post a lot to either platform and it's mainly just behind the scenes stuff of what goes on here at RS car sales. Now, if you're test driving this vehicle today, you'd be listening out for anyone wanting knocks or bangs. And if you've been listening out during this test drive video, there hasn't been any, which is always a bonus when buying a used car. But right now, I'm coming up to the industrial state where I'm going to take a right, I'm going to perform a emergency stop and pop it straight into reverse just to show you that the brakes work exactly how you would expect them to. And you'll see the 360 degree cameras that I've been talking about pop up in the screen in the centre. So, I'm just about to pull in, hopefully, there's no traffic, and I'll be able to pull in straight away. So I'll do a little countdown when I do the emergency stop. So we're going to do the emergency stop in three, two, one. Hard, anti the brakes straight into reverse, no issues whatsoever. And as you can see, the screen just in the center, you do have the front and rear parking sensors. Now put it back into drive and then it goes and switches to the front camera. Now, if you haven't answered all of your questions and inquiries, join this test drive on walk around video. Please feel free to get in contact with the sales team where they can answer any unanswered questions or also auto run through some inquiries with you. But that's it for me this water and video video test drive. Hope to hear from you soon. Cheers.